Hey, my name is David Brandon Geeting. Uh, I'm a photographer based in Brooklyn, New York. Um, yeah, I'm going to answer some questions. What was my first paid commission? Uh, my first paid commission was to fly to South Carolina to shoot um, a 3D printer factory for Bloomberg Business Week. I got an email like out of the blue from Emily Keegan, who was a photo editor there at the time. And um, yeah, I don't know how she found me. I think she followed my blog. Um, I was just working at a juice bar at the time. And then, yes, it kind of came as a surprise because I wasn't really, I don't know. I didn't like put the word out there that I was trying to make photos for a living or anything like that. I was just kind of like taking photos around my house and putting them on my blog. So that was cool. She trusted me to do that. And um, I still look at images from that shoot to try and use them for like personal stuff today because there's a lot of weird ones. Just like a lot of like weird plastic objects and shit that people made at the factory. Um, but yeah, that was cool. That was the first one. If I had to pick one, what would be my favorite photographic tool? Um, definitely, definitely a speed light, Canon speed light. I just have the cheapest one. Um, and then I have like a, an off brand one I got on eBay for like 30 bucks. They're both pretty tight. They're like the same thing. They just have different logos. Um, they're great because you put them on camera or you put them, I'll put them like up here to do kind of like mock hard sunlight. You can take them anywhere. Uh, I mean, I have like strobes now too, but when I started out, I just used speed lights for everything. And even now around the house, if I get inspired instead of like trekking all the way to my studio to make something, I'll just make something in my bedroom with speed lights. So they're great. Um, the biggest error I've made as a photographer, the biggest error I've made as a photographer is just getting caught up and thinking about um, if an idea I have fits into my practice or if it's stupid or if it's not worth it or just these things that kind of like limit uh, what you can do what you're able to do as an artist and really the fact of the matter is that it doesn't matter none of that stuff matters it doesn't matter if you have some outlandish idea and it doesn't fit into your practice you should just do it. You have to do it. So I think those those kind of thoughts um, have limited me in the past, but now I'm just trying to kind of act on everything. Just make it, figure out what it's about later, figure out how it fits in later, because it'll definitely fit in somehow. Um, how do I use or engage with Instagram? Um, I just post whatever I want at I don't know. I love Instagram. I, um, at first I had some weird rule, like I was only allowed to post cell phone photos, but that's kind of stupid, right? Like, I don't know. I think there's some Instagram purists out there that are like iPhone only, but it's so limiting. I just kind of don't like those kinds of like rules for myself art wise anymore. I don't know. I think it's cool to just post whatever, confuse people, or yeah, just do what you want. It's just like a platform for literally whatever the hell you want. Um, and then, do I have an inspirational object to share? Yeah, I brought one over here. This guy. Check him out. Um, a cool little dude that my little brother made. Um, in high school, I think, and like he took a ceramics class, 
and I found it last time I visited my dad in Pennsylvania, and I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, he didn't know what the hell he was doing, but this thing's pretty tight, so I just brought it back, put it on my desk, and, um, yeah, it's kind of inspirational just because what the hell's going on. And then also I use it to prop up photos that, or to prop up, um, like if I'm making a, an image, a still life or something on my bedroom floor, and then I need to prop prop up an object because it keeps falling over, I'll put this guy behind it. Or um, if I need to like weigh something down and I'm taking an overhead shot, I'll put this on it to weigh it down. So it's, it's be it's like, you know, it's got a lot of uses, um, utilitarian uses and inspirational uses. It's a good, good thing. So yeah, that's the end. Thank you. And, you know, good luck.